Use code MATCASTER for 5% off your order from Face to Face Games, Canada's largest Magic the Gathering store. Qualified orders get free shipping Canada wide. Use our code anytime you shop at Face to Face Games to support the show and get the cards you need at a discount. Welcome back, everyone, to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. Today is December 14th, 2022, and I wanted to remind you guys that this Saturday at 545 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to be having my Christmas celebration stream, and there's going to be plenty of giveaways, so please come by the stream, and remember to subscribe as well if you haven't already. With that being said, here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis, so thank you all very much. Now, let's get moving. Starting our loser section off here today with Titanium Voice of Gaia. This card is down 5.77% from $20.11 to $18.95 for its market price, and its average price is $21.90. And the next loser we have on our losers list today is Abu Jafar from Arabian Nights. This card is down 8.18% from $83.47 to $76.64 for its market price, and its average price is $60.92. Next loser on our list is Starscream Power Hungry, and this is the Shattered Glass version of this Universe's Beyond Transformer, down 9.09% from $12.65 to $11.50 for its market price, and its average price is $15.99. And we've got Arclight Phoenix, and this is the Borderless Secret Layer Series Countdown Kit version of the card, down 10.12% from $19.86 to $17.85 for its market price, and its average price is $19.48. Next loser on our list is Oversold Cemetery from Jumpstart 2022, down 14.21% from $7.53 to $6.46 for its market price, and its average price is $8.98. And the next loser we have on our losers list today is Nameless Race from the Dark. This is also a reserveless card, down 19.88% from $9.86 to $7.90 for its market price, and its average price is $10.12. Our final loser on our list today is Braids, Arison Nightmare from Dominaria United, down 37.96% from $5.48 to $3.40 for its market price, and its average price is $3.75. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest movers of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Ancient Brass Dragon from Commander Legends Battle for Boulder's Gate. This mythic is up 8.09% from $12.48 to $13.49 for its market price, and its average price is $14. Now the borderless version of this Now the showcase version of this card from the same set is the cheapest, currently sitting at $11.21 for its market price, and its average price is $12.59. And the most expensive version is the borderless version, and I love the artwork on this. It's currently sitting at $19.71 for its market price, and its average price is $20.75. Next up on our winners list here today is Temporal Trespass from Fate Reforged. This mythic is up 8.19% from $26.36 to $28.52 for its market price, and its average price is $29.21. Now this card is seeing a ton of Pioneer play right now in Is It Phoenix decks as well as Is It Drake and also in Commander decks like Eureka the Tiger Shadow. The next winner we have on our winners list is Anointed Procession from Amon Ket. This rare is up 8.59% from $31.08 to $33.75 for its market price and its average price is $34.50. Now there actually is a reprint of this card from the list and that version of the card is sitting at $35.95 for its market price and its average price is $34.87. Next up on our list is Neve Black Talon from the Secret Layer series. This is also Denitha Capuchin Paragon, but this card is up 8.61% from $13.47 to $14.63 for its market price, and its average price is $16.95. And this card was from the Secret Layer Warhammer Age of Sigmar set, and you could have got that for $29.99. Now it is sold out. This version of the card is also an uncommon from Dominaria, which is a lot cheaper. So if you want Denitha, you can grab her for $29 cents for its market price and its average price is 47 cents. 
The next winner on our winner section today is Mycosynth Lattice from Darksteel. This is the original printing of this artifact and it's up 8.62% from $38.15 to $41.44 for its market price and its average price is $43.30. Now the Battle Bond reprint of this card was a mythic and it's currently sitting at $42.03 for its market price and its average price is $41.99. This card is seeing some legacy play in painter decks as well as vintage play in decks like Paradoxical Outcome and also Prison Shops decks. However, it does see some commander play as well in decks like Kibo, Uktabi Prince, Urza Chief Artificer and also Urza Lord High Artificer decks as well in the commander format. And the next winner on our list today is a sliver card from Modern Horizons, the first sliver. And this mythic is up 8.69% from $21.76 to $23.65 for its market price. And its average price is $26.50. This card did see a few reprints from Modern Horizons 2. One as a regular retro frame and that version of the card is sitting at $27.16 and a foil etched version of the card which is a little bit cheaper currently sitting at $20.17 for its market price and its average price is $19.99. Our final winner on our list today is Aggravated Assault and this is the Explorers of Ixalan version of this enchantment. It's currently up 8.75% from $39.98 to $43.48 for its market price and its average price is $38.58. Now the original version of this card came out in Onslaught and that version of the card is currently sitting at $36.40 for its market price and its average price is $38.31. The most expensive version of this card is the Masterpiece Amonkhet Invocation and that version of the card is sitting at $112.87 for its market price and its average price is $109.36. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day. And we are going to start that list off here with Wart Bogart Auntie from Lorwyn. This foil is up 6.35% from $60.48 to $64.32 for its foil market price and its average price is $29.06. The next foil on our winners list today is a Planeswalker from Dragons of Tarkir, Sarkon Unbroken. This foil is up 7.01% from $32.40 to $34.67 for its foil market price, and its average price is $42. Next up on the foil winners list is an old frame foil, Overburden from Prophecy up 9.48% from $46.93 to $51.38 for its foil market price, and its average price is $59.99. Next is a card from Mirrodin Gold Mirror. This foil is up 14.15% from $14.28 to $16.30 for its foil market price, and its average price is $13.79. Next is a card from Champions of Kamigawa, Long Forgotten Gohei. This foil is up 16.05% from $13.58 to $15.76 for its foil market price, and its average price is $10.79. Ramosian Sky Marshall. This foil is up 16.76% from $19.99 to $23.34 for its foil market price, and its average price is $30.81. Our final foil winner of the day is Prowess of the Fair. This foil is up 22.95% from $9.76 to $12 for its foil market price and its average price is $14.99. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering market movers. It really, really means a lot to me. And if you could, could you hit the like button so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithm so I can continue to grow on this platform obviously all the likes and comments that you guys have been leaving have really helped grow my channel and i'm forever grateful for that also let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite mover of the day which cards were you most surprised to see on the list and which cards you actually own that showed up on the list i do read every single comment so please leave them there down below for me to read i make these videos from monday to friday so i will be back again tomorrow for another magic the gathering market movers and until then please enjoy the rest of your day
Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.